know. I want to tell you. So I found, so I found, well, I didn't find them. I know where they are. I know where the red plaid napkins are. how are you doing it is wednesday 2 2 10 14 so i have a chiropractor appointment at 10 20 i'm in the parking lot right now i thought i'd just pick up the camera and vlog got a little hair out of place what the heck um yeah. i almost forgot so but the the last time i went to the chiropractor um last week was on wednesday he says let's just make it every wednesday because i always forget anyway and Around the corner is my sister, so I'm going to try to stop by. I texted her, but she didn't answer me back. I know she has to pick the twins up at 1230, I think, from preschool. I am wearing my pink sweater. Do you all remember that from May? I bought, my sister and I both bought the same sweater. I'm like, what am I doing buying a sweater in May? But I love it. I love that it's like a three-quarter sleeve because I'm always pushing it up because here in Florida, um in the fall you change your clothes a lot <laughs> for one you really don't need a full long sleeve sweater i'm always pushing it up i need something so i just have a short sleeve shirt on with the sweater over the top i also don't need long sleeves anymore i'm i stopped buying those i do have a few they are totally not worn out because I hardly ever wear them and I end up just wearing a t-shirt with a sweater over the top of it so you, so when you go in somebody's house you can take that off and you're it's too hot inside for to wear a long sleeve anyway so that's what I'm doing um what else did I want to, to take oh I wanted to tell you so I found so I found well I didn't find them I know where they are I know where the red plaid napkins are <laughs> that old dilemma so we were thinking what is she talking about but anyway so jenny thank you jenny jenkins oh my god she messaged uh commented on yesterday's video it was the halloween video the the entryway decor and she goes your napkins your red plaid napkins are in your picnic basket in your pantry i'm like oh my god <laughs> So I, yes, I remember. So I used those because, you know, then I didn't have to buy. Well, I think I was looking for red plaid napkins and I didn't like the color of them. They were more maroon. And so I'm like, oh, I have those in my picnic basket. I'll just use those. So that's what I used on the front porch that one year. I don't think it was last year, maybe the year before or the year before that. Anyway, so that's where they are. I can't believe you, uh, you remember that, Jenny. Yes, thank you. So if I'm missing something else, maybe one of you can reach find me where I put that. So all right, I gotta I gotta go head in to the chiropractor, and then um, um I guess I'll call my sister. I texted her, but she didn't text me back. And uh, maybe I'll go with her to pick the boys up, and we'll do something. I was planning on going back home, but I don't want to. I didn't walk yet this morning. I can always do that this evening. It was quite chilly. I had on my hoodie for a minute and then I remembered I had to go to the my Winnie the Pooh hoodie, hoodie and then I remembered I had to go to the chiropractor and I'm gonna shut up now I gotta go I gotta go I'll I gotta hey go. dummy me um my appointment was at three o'clock not 10 20 last week was at 10 20 so I was just thinking it was I mean they messaged me I just said yes I didn't pay attention to the time I don't know. anyway so whatever <laughs> doesn't matter so I'm going next week next Wednesday at three o'clock and uh, remind me and <laughs> then it's gonna be every other week so I did miss a couple weeks I don't know I was having brain fog and forget, kept forgetting about my appointment and then I didn't call him back to make another appointment so now he's got me scheduled for every other week for the next couple of after next week next couple through Thanksgiving so I'm coming the day before Thanksgiving so um, I'm doing so much better 
my neck is not hurting me, my back is not hurting, well, yeah, a little bit, not much, as, if, as long as I wear, I'm like wearing the shaper thing, I'm telling you guys, the shaper mint shape where you need to get yourself that, it helps uh, my back, my back doesn't hurt as much when I'm, um, it helps my posture, it doesn't hurt as much when I'm washing the dishes, and uh, yeah, anyway, it helps, plus it's the most comfortable shapewear I've ever worn, I've ever bought it, yeah, I, I recommend it, uh, all right, I gotta call sister, she didn't, still didn't answer me, so I, she, I'm guessing she must be at the grocery store or something like that, um, I'm gonna call, hopefully she's home, I haven't seen her in a while, we've not been getting together, we've just both been busy, so, she watches the twins, now, almost three times a week, after she picks them up from preschool and then watches them until uh, Amy picks them up at, um, I'm sure you don't care. <laughs> I don't know, like four? Anyway, let me call her and see if she's Okay, home. so she's home. She was just out in the yard, I'm guess, doing yard work, which I need to start on that because uh, I should have done it the last couple days, actually, because it's been cool for two days now. Uh, you know what? It's still going to be cool just in the morning now. It'll be cool. Not 57 cool, but it, anyway, I, I need to put the phone down. Okay, so it is one, uh, almost 115, leaving sister's house. I took her to the grocery store. They only have one vehicle like us, so her husband was helping mow lawns, helping Amy's husband, my niece's husband, mow lawns. He has a lawn business anyway, so he was doing that. So she didn't have a vehicle. I said, well, let me take you to the store because she's having company tonight for dinner, um, her brother-in-law and, and his wife. Anyway, so um, I did that. We hung out for a while. The twins, I didn't show them, but I don't know, I feel uncomfortable showing them these days. So the twins got dropped off um, from preschool. So um, they were there. I visited with them for a few minutes, but I want to go home now. I got groceries. I went ahead and got groceries since I was going to Publix with her because I had a few things I needed to get. I got more than a few things. Not much, but um, I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. I still need to walk at some point today. Maybe I can get hubby to go for a walk with me. Anyway, I'm going to head home and see what else the day brings. Oh, and did I say it was 73 now? So I'm going to go home and change my clothes. Because this is what happens in Florida fall. You wake up and you're wearing a hoodie. Which I was wearing a hoodie before I put this set of sweater on. And my pajamas and my socks. And then I changed into this. Now I'm going to go home and change into my shorts. And then change back into long pants again later. <laughs> How many times can we change in a day? Alright. I'm home from my sister's. I gotta put the groceries away. I just threw my my clothes, my pajamas. I was wearing the hoodie and stuff uh, this morning. My Winnie the Pooh hoodie, my Winnie the Pooh pajamas. Anyway, I'm going to change out of what I have on into um, shorts. These are my favorite shorts. Now, I think I'm gonna get rid of my Danskin ones. For years and years, I uh, was telling y'all I love the Danskins, but I like these better now. They are longer, for one, and they're like bike shorts, but they're, they're cotton. I say cotton, but I'm not sure. They're not the Lycra. What does it say? It's made out of. I don't see. I can't read it. Cotton. 10% cotton. No, 50% cotton, 10% spandex. So, it's not like, you know, regular bike shorts. It doesn't have a pocket, though. But they, and they have a wider band at the top, so it doesn't, like, roll down and stuff. Um, it's thicker than the Danskin, and, um, sometimes the Danskins are hard to find. I do get them off of Amazon, so I'm going to put those on, and just a t-shirt, and change out of 
what I have on now. Take my shoes off. Yeah, put this stuff away. All changed. And I just hung this here and this here. I did clear all this off yesterday. Um, when I'm cleaning this zone, if it's been here for like a, a month sometimes, I'll just, I don't know what's what, you know, it's to use it again. Um, I'll just throw it in the wash. Yeah, after a couple weeks or a month after it's been hanging there. Anyway, so this is what I'm wearing. Just my bike shorts and you see me wear this all the time. It's kind of my uniform. So, um, I did make the bed this morning. I didn't realize I was going to vlog, but yeah, I woke up bright and early this morning. That uh, It was either 6.30 or 7. I got up, I made the bed, I put the laundry away that I didn't put away yesterday. I started a new load of wash. Um, what else did I do? I don't know. And today is my zone cleaning, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. It is supposed to be this area. And, oh, I mentioned in a previous video that we did take the partitions down and stuff. Um, but we do have this just in case, um, we want to close hobbies in this area. I think he's in the craft room. I'm working on that. Right now, decluttering that. He's sleeping in the chair. It's his favorite spot, or that is either his favorite spot. So, yep, I got my craft room list here of what I want to do, and I've been working on it. Um, that's possible decluttering. Well, that's declutter. And then that's possible, and then that's garbage. Why hubby closes his door? I'm not sure. Let's open that. There's pixel. And then this was left over from yesterday when I did my, let's see, it's 75 in here. So it's starting to get warm. I probably want to turn the fans on um, so we can avoid turning the AC on. So that's left over when, from when I did the, the um, Halloween decor. If you didn't see that video, maybe you want to go see that. Um... I did this yesterday, and I still need to put away that. Oh, I added to that. So, I found these napkins and made pumpkins out of it. And just decorated that up so it looks a little more festive there. So, I have to figure out what to do with the rest of that fall stuff. Thanksgiving. I guess put it in the garage. My laundry in the, hand, in the laundry basket. So, again, this is zone two is supposed to be cleaned up. I don't know if I feel like doing that today. I can always do it tomorrow. Um, I should at least put this away. Let's, let's do that. So, plug this back in. Do I have clothes in the washer? No, but there's, all right, there's clothes in the dryer that need I have to do my daily chores. Clothes in the dryer that need folded. Oh, right away. Find a spot. This is still broken. I should leave that out to remind Hubby to fix that for me. We need to fix it Friday where he joins in. I got this to fix immediately. Because I use that. That's my no bend chair. And the kitchen needs clean up. And... I have this panel still needs fixed, and the panel in the bathroom. He said he's busy, right? <laughs> so, where do these go? Do they go down here? No. Where did I get that from? I have no idea which room I pulled that out of. I have to do something with all that. Essential oil stuff. I don't know where I got this from. Well, that needs to be put away and cleaned up. I think I got this from my cleaning cart. So, let me put it back in the cleaning cart. And I need to do something with that. I need to hang that up in the family room. One of these days. I've had it for, what, a month now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I must have got that from the cleaning right, cart. Let's put this away. 
right, so sister suggested I get this. She says it's really good. This roasted sauerkraut, kraut brand. She's, I'm going to try it and see how good that is. She says it's not real vinegary. Is that a word? Vinegary? All right. I need something to eat, but I need to take out something for dinner. I was going to make chicken alfredo, but I don't have any alfredo sauce. Ugh. What do I want to make? Just a whole chicken? Mm -hmm -hmm. I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'll pull this out. It's kind of late already to take this out, though. I can't know if I can do that with one hand. <laughs> or if I take that chicken breast. This thing's kind of small, that chicken. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to put it in the sink with some water to thaw it out because it is almost two o'clock already. Okay, yeah. I've straightened up a little bit. I'm gonna use that for a coffee later. I got the chicken thawing in the sink. I need something to eat. Um, I think I'm going to have my cottage cheese bowl with cottage cheese, peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, okay. Hey, I'm just taking a little break here, and yeah, that table needs cleaned up always. That's leftover from last night's dinner. We had Carabas because it was son's birthday. He wanted out he didn't want to go to Carabas using my massager did you buy yourself one you will thank me later it, the links in the description <laughs> and I filled up my Bubba mug and I'm going to drink that and working on that and I'm going to watch Sophia she is by far my favorite youtuber so do you watch her Sophia my great challenge I just love her all right it's five almost 5 15 um, I'm gonna stick this in the oven or should I even bother? I need to cut up some vegetables and put it in there. I don't know what I have. I have onion. I didn't think about that when I was at the store. I don't know if I have appropriate vegetables. Not really. Like got peppers. I don't have any carrots. I got some celery. I could put some celery and onions just for some flavoring. I'm going to have to make something else. Or oh, potatoes. I could do potatoes, but I don't know. I don't have like I don't know what I was thinking. But carrots. I don't have any carrots. So I'm just going to do celery and onions and potatoes, I guess. Okay, I'm going to stick that in the oven. Um, this is what I'm using, the roasted garlic and herb. We really, I really like that. I don't know if the guys even care. I think I'm probably going to do a can of green beans. Because I need something other than onions and potatoes. I need a another re vegetable. Potatoes and starch. Alright, I'll figure that out later. Uh, let set this for an hour. And then check on it. So after I put the chicken in the oven, I decided to go ahead and real quick clean up this bin. This had paperwork in it. And I sorted through what I needed, which was very little. And the rest is garbage. But you'll be seeing that in my next craft room video. Or the one after that, actually. I'm ahead on the craft room. Okay, the garage is a mess. But that's coming. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to show you the empty bins that I have gone through this year. So those have paperwork on them, but they're going to be um, shredded. And then there's two empty bins here. So that's four. Um, I have some empty bins over here. I don't know whether those were emptied this year or not. So I think so. So there's a purple bin. There's two small bins. There's this bin. And I believe that bin is empty too. 
So <laughs> that's a lot of decluttering that I did uh, this year. So I think that's empty. Yeah. So go me. Now we just got to do something about this. This is recycle, which comes tomorrow. So probably we'll take care of all that. I should just put it. Why, why am I doing that now? We're doing, I'm filming a craft room video, not a garage video. So, um, I was going to donate this. I'm getting sidetracked. I was going to donate this. And then I grabbed it out of the donation bin. And I was going to fix it up. No, you're not, Michelle. Just, just get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm filming this, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Christmas bins still. Oh, that's going to go by at least half. So four. I want four bins. The rest is going bye bye. Video. That's not the craft room. I'm doing craft room. Uh, I I'm okay. I'm going for a walk, a uh, grounding walk. So I'm gonna go down this side street, which is the dirt road. I walked. We tried walking the cats earlier. I forgot to film, and they weren't having it because it was super windy and it was freaking Zeke and Rue out, and all they do was crunching, crouching down on the ground and not wanting to walk. So. We brought them in. We didn't... I think I did walk around the house twice. I kept picking Rue up and um, carrying him. but So that didn't work out. So I didn't take a walk-walk today. did walk at the grocery store. Got some steps in around the house. But, you know, my thing is dedicated walk. So I'm going to go down that side street and walk... Um, and count that. I did drink quite a bit of water today, so I'm happy about that. I am working on that one. I'm not doing good on that. I never do good on that. If you've been following for a long time, you know I'm not doing good on that. All right, I'm back from my walk. I forgot to record any of it, but that's because I was on Instagram. Yeah, that's not done. That's not done. Uh, I'm gonna try another 20 minutes. Maybe I should bump up the. The heat. I'll go with that. Okay, I should clean this up. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna sit here and drink some water first. Um. Yeah, I feel so. I filled this up, uh, and drank three quarters of it, and I filled it up again, and now I got like a quarter left. So I don't know. I think this is thirty-two ounces. So you do the math. Let me know how much that is. And it is six thirty-six. We like to watch Jeopardy and eat our dinner, and Wheel of Fortune. I did not finish I realized I didn't finish the vlog yesterday I didn't show you dinner I don't think I'll have to check anyway um, I think I'm just going to make the bed um, to end the vlog <laughs> well I guess I'm going to go for a walk maybe or a bike ride and so I'll take you along but I'm going to quickly make this bed okay guys so let's talk about this bed making thing once again so if you are struggling, I give you permission not to make your bed every day. I know it's a thing. Make your bed. There is even that general or something of the army of the Navy is something that talks about making your bed and how that helps you throughout the day. I'm sure it's a discipline thing too, especially in the, in the army. My husband was in the army for six years. So definitely that's a, definitely a discipline. And I always say the sky is not going to fall down if you don't make your bed. So, but make your bed. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I am in a good place right now so I can make my bed, but I still don't make it every day. Sometimes it just doesn't get made. And I think it's more important to do things like make sure you do your dishes 
and keep up on your dishes. You Sometimes when you're struggling, you got to let some things go. And that for sure is something that you can let go. It's not a big deal that you don't make your bed. Yes, it feels good to get in a made bed and hubby and I toss and turn horribly. So it does need to be made. I have trying to get to, how do I say? I'm trying to let go of being and make my bed perfectly. Um, yeah, I have let go of a, a little bit, um, uh, and other, um, not so much. I tuck in my side of the bed, but not hobbies because he kicks it out anyway. So I don't do that. What well, that takes a whole two seconds to do. So that's not really helping anything, but I am not making the bed perfectly. So there, and sometimes I don't put all the pillows on there. So, um, I just, Especially, sometimes I won't make the bed until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm definitely not going to put all the pillows back on there because they're just going to come off in a little bit anyway, if that makes any sense. So, I give you permission to not make your bed if you're struggling. You'll get there one day. Don't worry about it. The sky's not going to fall down if you don't make your bed. All right, bed made. Put the chair back together so I have a towel on there. Just in case the cat pee's on again. We had to steam clean it because cat peed. So, you know, Pixel has access to the whole house now. So, in this area that he's not used to being, he's peeing on spots. Peed on the rug this morning in the bathroom. I put that in. At least that's easy to clean. Put that in the laundry. Got some clothes to put in the laundry, in the laundry basket. So, my headache's not quite gone. So, I'm not quite ready to take a bike ride this morning. I mean a little bit. So we do still have this gate, which I have trouble opening. So we do keep it closed sometimes. Sometimes we open it definitely at night, although we have left it open at night. Um, but he he peed quite a bit in the last couple of days. So it's, uh, I got to fill up my Bubba mug. Um, this is from last night. Um... I'm going to sit over here. Oh. What I look like in the morning is what you get. I didn't even comb my hair or anything. So, and my glasses are smudged up. My face is gre greasy. I have oily skin. So I have to clean my glasses like five times a day. Anyway, um, I need to wash my face. So I had a headache this morning. Uh, yeah, it was a migraine. And I'm like, what the heck? I haven't had it in a headache in two weeks. What triggered it? I didn't have any gluten. I did drink a lot of water yesterday. And then I have been putting some salt on my tongue. Um, when I, I'm sorry, I'm looking over here and I'm seeing, I cleaned my bathroom mirror the other day and it's all streaky. Whatever. Anyway, squirrel. So, um, I didn't do that last night, and I'm thinking maybe that triggered it. I still have a little bit of a headache. Get up. I had a banana. I had my coffee. Put some salt on my tongue. Use my massager. Still kind of lingering a little bit. I wonder if I should just go for a bike ride anyway. So, that's what's going on this morning. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I want to um, put the seasonal stuff somewhere in the house. I got some stuff there. I got still some empty things. I could put it there. I can buy some decorative boxes and, like, put them on shelves and stuff. And there's room in the hutch and all like that. Because this is what happens. When I get the bins out, they're sitting there for weeks until I put it all out. If it was in places around the house, like there's still some empty drawers here. It's a work in progress. It's going to take me a while to do this. No, that's not empty. <laughs> there's some, I think this drawer is empty. Nope, there's something in there. I'll help you put something in there. There's empty-ish drawer, so I can, I still have room to put stuff somewhere. So it's a work in progress. Maybe I could get a box and... Mm, put it under there. I could store stuff in the basket. Because I just have stuff like on top. I got options. 
and hubby cleaned up the staircase this morning. Not completely, but there was stuff all going up there. And yes, it's dirty. We're contemplating pulling this all up and and making it wood, but have a runner because, you know, old people and stairs doesn't mix. He still has some more work to do. We're going to hang that somewhere. That's a picture. Was it me or hubby that took that picture? It was in Oregon at somewhere. Anyway, he still has to deal with some of that, so. Work in progress. Wear my legging bike shorts, but I think it's warmed up probably enough for me to wear my shorts. So. And I have these bike, padded bike shorts that I wear too. I need more padding. It has a pad for your butt and your crotch. <laughs> it needs more padding. That's what stops me from riding far is uh my butt hurts and <laughs> my crotch hurts after riding a little while, but I shouldn't overdo it anyway. Six miles is enough. Okay, ready to go. Got my shapewear on, so and I'm gonna take a shower when I come back, so I'm not worried about what I look like. I'm going to open up what we call free range. Is Hobbies in here? Yep. He's in his, that's his usual spot lately. Hi, baby. He's not been sleeping on the window seat for some reason. Anyway, it's dark in here. So, um, I'm going to shut the bedroom doors. So, Pixel can't get in there and pee. And then open this gate for everyone. So. <laughs> Tiki. They wait at that gate. They're like, oh, let me in. Alright, so I got my water. It's a Gatorade. It's water. With a splash of mango cranberry juice in there. I just use it as a container for water. We have no more water bottles left. I really think I should just not buy them anymore and just use containers. But for the bike ride, I can't use my Papa mug. Oh. All right, ready to go. I don't know. It's feeling pretty, fairly warm. Uh, if I had to say, I would be say 78 that it is already this morning. And I'm running out of battery. So uh, I don't know how much of this bike ride I will be able to show you.
not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess.